plaintiff, Terry McElrath Jr., says the defendant is his father. And Terry claims he's been bringing crack into their home since he was five years old. Terry claims the defendant prostituted himself to get drugs. And Terry's suing him for stealing his identity. Defendant Terry McElrath Sr. admits that he was a drug addict for years, but he insists he's been clean since 2006. Terry denies stealing his son's identity, and he's countersuing for stolen money. Start with you. Your Honor, ever since I was five years old, my dad brought crack cocaine into the household. What, wait a minute, Your Honor, that's not true. That is true, he brought crack Get cocaine. Get inside, and then I'll let you refute it and give you a background on the case. <laughs> He brought crack cocaine into the household, got my mother addicted on crack cocaine as well. During this time frame- How do you know? Because my mom told me. Okay. okay. And, she, and I have a witness letter from her as well. Okay. Um, ever since then, everything spiraled out of control. Uh, I physically seen both my mom and my dad prostitute themselves for drug money. My father was very abusive to my mom. He used to beat her constantly, constantly. Every day he would come in high, beat her up. Well, at one point in time, I got tired of it. When he was beating on her, I got a knife and I stabbed him in the back. After I stabbed him in the back, he just looked at me, turned and walked off and broke a lamp on his way out. When did he go into recovery and what's the status had, of your mother? He hasn't never wanted to recovery to this day. He has never went to AA or NA, got <laughs> drug treatment to this day. He denied that he, does, he smokes crack, but he admitted to everybody else but me. You think he still does? I know he's still smoking crack. I can tell when, by the way he talks when he's on the phone with me. He has he, his Mouth voice changes, twisted, and and he doesn't sound right. His words are twisted, like right. he don't know what he's saying. Exactly. So right. he still smokes crack to this day. What's the status of your mom? My mom's clean. She she did relapse, mm -hmm. but she did get clean. Right. She's doing everything. <laughs> church, Good. Bible study, everything she needs to do. Good, sir. You want to uh, talk about any of this? Um, yeah. Uh-uh. I'm not, not saying it like that. In, well, you in, know. In, 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 19, in 1980. <laughs> is that how he sound? That's how he that sound, Your Honor, when he's smoking. That, that right there. That's, that's know, exactly what it is. I know Look, how the smoking yeah. sound. That's Your Honor, I, I, had, I had neck surgery, and I, I'm, only, I'm only getting better. For, I had three, December the 2nd. I had neck surgery. And that affected your vocal cord? And I got, a, I got a titanium plate in my neck. Okay. Right now. Third month. Okay. You sound awareness. fine now. Yeah, it's, it's the weather, but what, what I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna tell my sad story on. Yes, sir. In 1980, that's when I married Lil Terry's mom. Mm -hmm. And for four years, we were trying to have Lil Terry. When, when he was born, I was, so ha I was happy and proud. And I spoiled him, I gave him everything that, he, that a little kid could want. I mean, everything. And then that's you his give problem. Me everything, don't lie. Hold on, sir. Let him finish. <sighs> that's his problem now. He's used to getting everything. And, and, and I did that. And I don't know why he's sitting here saying that I did that. Now, his mom was hooked on crack for a year before I even found out. And when I found out I was wrong, I went and got it for her because she would disappear. She would take my V. I was getting VA checks from the VA for going to school. I was going to school and working. I was getting a check. She was stealing my checks and going to school. We almost got a Vic. We had a three bedroom house, two cars, e everything that, you know, like the dream, American dream. We had everything. And because of her doing that, we, all, we, lost, we almost lost the house. We lost the cars. But I was wrong for going Hold to get it, it for How her. was she getting a hold of all of the money? Well, well, the first thing, Your Honor, she was stealing my checks out the mail. All my right. Checks Once should have been enough. She, every month, she would intercept the mail. And, she and would, she would at some point, you didn't get wise enough to find an alternative way of getting your check. Maybe get a P.O. box. Well, I, 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 did, I did do that. Go ahead, sir. Anything else you want me to know? Okay, well, he said I've never been at the treatment. In 2006, I was at treatment at the VA. Okay, so you and at least I, and admit that you had a, an addiction. Been, yeah, I, yes, sir, I did. Okay, good. And I've been clean since 2006. Okay, I'm glad I'm to hear you I'm currently that. going to Sinclair Community College where I'm, I'm due to get my associate's degree as a drug counselor good. in, in uh, 2012 of June. Ah, right, he sounds sincere. You sure he's still getting high? He still smokes crack, Your Honor. <laughs> 
you, you, I mean, you live I mean, in, he can, you live he can in sit, city. He can How sit do you know that? Say poop is rainbows and butterflies, but he still smokes crap. <laughs> Let's go to the stolen identity you're suing him about okay, for your an honor, unpaid was, bill. Tell me what happened. Okay, Your Honor, I was incarcerated from 2002 to 2007. Um, I got out. Um, Did you in dope game or what? No, I just, I got in some trouble. I got, got charged with burglary and mm, okay. I went to prison and stuff. Um, I got out. Um, I went to school for a little bit. I tried to apply for a credit card and uh, to get a cell phone. And they kept, they denied me because they said my credit, it was like an How long were you in prison for burglary? For four years. Okay. But I was, they I was you in the going county. through somebody's window? What? Yeah, I They went, caught you? Uh, no, nah, I'm not so going through somebody's breaking. window. I went through the door. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just wondering how you got caught. All right. Yeah, that's how I got caught. But I got out. I tried to apply for these things. They when did. the police got there, you were t- <laughs> in the door. Yeah, I was in the door. Stop. No, I wasn't stuck oh, in the how, door. <laughs> where, how, why did I you was coming out the door. Oh, you were coming out. I was out. coming out the door. Okay, I was just trying to understand. Yeah, I was coming out the door. I was, I was just stuck in the door. trying to understand yeah, yeah. how they got. I got I was you stuck now. In the door. I understand now. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Um, got my credit report right here. Now I remember when I was incarcerated, my dad came and visited me one time, and uh, he told me that he had moved to these Deer Creek apartments. So when I realized this, I see and I seen it on here that Deer Creek apartments is a balance of two thousand four hundred twenty-five dollars. You saw that on my credit report. Let's see it, please. And I went, I confronted my dad about it, and he admitted to me that he put my name on there, forged my name on the document to get this apartment. Okay. And I told him, I said, well, you're going to need to uh, pay this money back to me. He said he would, and him being my father, right. I believed him. You know, I gave him time because I know he was struggling with his yeah, services and stuff. Doubt. And he didn't never pay me no money. I also have an email here, Your Honor. Go ahead, sir. Let okay. me hear your side. Your Honor, the only thing is true, I did have an apartment in Deer Creek. And I have, I have the lease, I, I had, the apartment was in my name. Now I put him on there as an occupant, because he was in prison, he was in prison. And I, I, I thought when he got out, that he would come and stay with me. And when I talked to the landlord, I, I gave them six months, I paid the, the money for, the rent up for six months. Good enough, let me just ask you then, why are they charging him? I, I don't know that, Your Honor, because okay. I, I got the, All right. because- You have because you tried it, to find out. Well, I, I, they didn't send, when, when I left the apartment, they, they, didn't, they didn't send me anything. That's terrible. Be, be, now, once again, <laughs> did you try and find out why they are charging your son? I'm just, because I'm he, just, they only knew of him by you saying, which turned out to be untrue, mm-hmm. that he was going to move in with you. I'm just finding it out, out now. He, he today, didn't come. today is your first yeah. day that you found out yeah. that he's being charged by Deer Creek. Yeah, because he, he didn't tell me anything. This is the first day. He didn't tell me anything. I about. ask you a question because you keep saying yeah, and I gotta make sure I'm hearing this lie correctly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first day you ever heard of it. When, when I got here and they told me what, what, what he was doing. When you got here today. Now, when Not I, when, before you got on the airplane, but once you got here. <laughs> When did you think you were coming when you got on the plane? They told you it was a couple of ounces or something? Or <laughs> Since you're going to talk to me crazy. Yeah, no, I, Since I'm you're going to insult my you. intelligence, I'm going to insult yours too. Come on, you didn't know until you got here I, I'm sorry, today. I'm, I'm, I'm saying as far as he said he called me and told me, this, he didn't ever call me or let me know anything. Cause we could have got this resolved because I have all the information. I have, I have the lease agreement in my name. I have everything. Who do you think should pay? I, I think Deer, Deer Creek should play, pay. They should pay. They should pay themselves for you living there. No, they 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 made the mistake. They made the mistake, what so mistake they could wipe did it. What they made? Because they sent it to him, and I, I got all Who information. Who lived there? I did. Did you pay? Yes, I did. Then why are they sending a bill? I don't know. I, I got all the information. Didn't find right that here. out either. No, they I, send your son a bill. You know they sent your son a bill. You know that you're the only one stayed there. Yet you don't even go and find out why they sent your son a twenty-four hundred dollar bill. Particularly since they would not have known he existed unless you told them that lie that he was going to be an occupant. 
Let me read what you also wrote. Wow, I'm really surprised that you're taking me to court. <laughs> who, who wrote but, that? Yeah, right. I know you're going to play crazy again. <laughs> but I will admit that it was wrong of me to sign your name on the apartment agreement. I can't believe that it's over $2,000 that they're charging you. <laughs> but I will pay it if it is ordered by the judge. <laughs> but I doubt you will win. <laughs> you tell him good luck. And You've struck luck today, dog. <laughs> $425 for stealing your identity and causing you to incur that debt with the uh, apartment complex. And your whatever stolen money you're talking about that you're countersuing for, sir, I don't believe anything you could possibly <laughs> tell me. Have a good day. Just Thank you, the plaintiff. You're on the I'm glad the case came out of my favor. He knew he owed me the money. He knew he was wrong for signing my name on that apartment. And he can go take care of whatever he needs to do. I'm done with him.